And in my sermons, I, I don't always get it, but I try really hard to have the beginning of my sermon be so, I'm, I'm what I call, I call it driving for common questions. And if I can get a question that's in your heart and soul, that's meaningful to you, that, that is one of your questions, and if I've articulated it in a way that you're going, yeah, yeah, I've been thinking about it. And you're a non-believer, you're a Buddhist, you're a visiting Jewish person, and you're a visiting fundamentalist, and you're a visiting Catholic, and your background is, you know, PhD, and your background is a doc is is the opposite. You're literate. If I can get to the place where you have all got to a question in my intro, my intro is more important to me than you have any idea about. After I get my folk text, I drill myself on that intro. I want that intro to get you into your question. Because, you know, have you ever had that thing, you know, somebody's talking about your, your, your future medical care, your survival, and then the physician says, do you have any questions? And you go, uh. <laughs> And then you get home and you go, oh man, I didn't ask, am I going to live? <laughs> you know, or should I? Should I quit eating? You know, and, and because we all have those questions, but we forget to ask them. What I want to do is remind you and call out from you the questions that you already have. And I want to connect to that question. If I can, then when we look at the scripture, you can go, hey, yeah, because I want to know. You know. I wanted something about that. I've been thinking about it. And that's been on my mind. I, I never mentioned it to anybody because, you know, it's just kind of weird. I never, but now that you mention it, I will on. Tell me about that. That's my drive. Jesus does that by starting out by saying, hey, you know, it's so hard to predict the seasons, isn't it? You're trying to think, is it going to be rain or not going to be rain? And should we plant or not plant? You know, where, where do those seeds go when the wind blows? And, I mean, and by that time, everybody's there. Yeah, that's my question, too. That's cool. It's funny, this topic is flowing wilder than I expected it to, but I'm going to be seeing things down into kind of a real focus thing, so I'm glad this is good to get it out now, go ahead. Uh, I was uh, thinking about this in terms of, um, I, I am a teaching Buddhist, and we're out later on in life, and one of the things that we learned about in teaching is the things called funds of knowledge, which is basically when you're up there in front of a group of like eighth grade students. That's the phrase. Well, well, but, yeah, but, but it, right, right. But but what? But but funds of knowledge is a way in the very beginning to hook them into into the topic, and that's what we do as preachers. We we hook in the very beginning, and hopefully, if you're a decent preacher, you kind of have that hook in their mouth, and it kind of. Because we, we've gone so wide, that's good. Because we're going to narrow it real tight. But let's take our break now. And do know I'm going to start back up in seven minutes, and I don't mean eight. So take your break right now. God bless you.